Welcome to Late Night. How's everybody doing? I just spent 12 hours explaining to my parents how to download Peacock, so yeah, I've been better. President Trump posted a photo yesterday of himself and several Goya products in the Oval Office. Okay, but why are they in their original packaging? Are you trying to keep them in mint condition? They're kidney beans, not a rocket-firing Boba Fett. And look, I know he's trying to encourage people to buy Goya, but it looks more like one of those photos where DEA agents pose with kilos of cocaine they just seized, or who knows, maybe it's a local production of Glengarry Glen Ross. Second prize, a week supply of Goya. Third prize is you're fired. Looks like an episode of Racist Iron Chef. Today's secret ingredient is Goya beans. Uh, I guess I could make uh, beans. President Trump announced yesterday that he has demoted campaign manager Brad Parscale and replaced him with his deputy campaign manager, though that one's on you, Trump. You really thought he was going to make you look good when he made himself look like that? He looks like a Civil War soldier who was sent home because of weak blood. Infectious disease expert Anthony Fauci said in an interview yesterday that despite the White House's effort to discredit him, he has not thought about resigning, which is too bad, because there is another doctor that is just waiting for a chance. I don't know, man. Have you, have you consider putting on some Rick and Morty and just letting the virus do its thing? I'm a Rick guy, I'll admit it. Rick gets me. Hackers yesterday hijacked the Twitter accounts of several public figures, including former President Obama, rapper Kanye West, and Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates as part of a cryptocurrency scam. Said Kanye, no, mine was actually me. Rapper Kanye West's political advisor said in a new interview that West is no longer trying to run for president. As for what he's going to do instead, his political advisor said to ask again later. In a new interview, infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci said that he gets 700 emails a day. Apparently, he once ordered something from Crate and Barrel. And that's on me. That was a, I shouldn't have done that. I'll take the full blame for that. A coronavirus vaccine developed by a lab in the U.S. is entering its final stage of testing trials later this month, and officials are hopeful they could be botching the rollout as early as January. Music streaming service Spotify announced today that the Michelle Obama podcast will debut later this month, and as soon as the transcriptions are ready, so will the Melania Trump podcast. Authorities in Delaware are investigating a recent robbery at a local pizza shop where the owner threw a pizza at the robber in self-defense, added the delivery guy. So yeah, that's, uh, that's why it looks like that. And finally, according to a new report, men should limit their alcohol consumption to one beverage a day. So now I have the other five at night. That was the monologue. Hope you enjoy that.